he's just standing there. Ça me dérange pas. Ok. Is she supposed to look at you or the camera, the people at home? You just look at me. As much as possible, you need to forget that he's there. And so basically, can you show me where you can? Absolutely. Like I was saying, as we're on our walk over, we call this Total Valley here. Like it's really cute. It's got a different vibe to it. It's kind of quiet. I first came here about three weeks ago. We were over in the area over there where the kitchen was set up right in the middle and there was a whole bunch of tents around, which is very busy, very noisy. And being a nature lover, I fell in love with this spot of the uh, of, uh, camp. And it's, it's actually quite beautiful, you know, to wake up in the morning and unzip your tent and let you see trees around and you know, all the leaves now. It's beautiful. It's a great place to, to wake up in the morning. It's a lot different than being in a, in a city in the suburbs, that I originally live in Gloucester, so, yeah. So you've been here, you said, for a few weeks? Yeah. Three, three weeks, you said? Uh, I think so, yeah. I started, I moved in pretty much on the 16th. I think altogether I haven't been, I haven't slept over for about five or six days. I've gone home and had a rest and I did crash at friends' places and things like that. Okay. Can, can you not use a flash? I'm not. C'est un peu comme ça. Est-ce que vous pouvez faire l'entrevue? 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 Je pense pas. 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 Um, I've always been politically active. Um, in the past month, I was actually a Green Party candidate for the, uh, the Ontario election. And I just love to get involved. I love to push boundaries and, and see what is what we're capable of. In terms of, I find this a social experiment. This is not so much, uh, it's political, it's activism, um, but we're learning how to be a community. One of the problems that we're having is people are, don't necessarily understand our message. And what I'm saying is, this is our message and come down and feel the vibe and understand that we're trying to build something completely different, contrary to what exists on the outside of the park. I don't want to create an us and them kind of point of view, but it's kind of true. That we're trying to, to develop, as opposed to being frustrated and getting on the bus and going to work and being frustrated, I don't want to work when I'm five anymore. Let's try to create something different. And this is, to me, what we're trying to do. So I want to be a part of that. I want to, social learning is what it comes down to for me. And what did you do before coming to I'm a student. I study ethics at St. Paul University. Ethics? Yeah. Okay. Okay. St. Paul's is not far from here, right? It's Main Street, yeah. To, to the University of Ottawa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And uh, how old are you? I'm uh, 24. And how do you feel about the fact that, because this is very new, like, I've never, I'm 32, I've never seen this before. I'm, oh, that's why you have to get involved and experience these kinds of things. Um, it's not the same. My friends, for example, that are aren't a part of this, that come down every now and then, and kind of go, I, just, I just don't get it. I don't, I don't understand why you're here. And I said, well, you have to come and feel the vibe. You have to come and hang out. When there's beautiful drum circles that are, that are happening, and there's music, and there's people doing smudges and spiritual cleansings and things like that. It's it's kind of um, you're witness to something that's moving and growing, and it's human based. It's it's compassion based. It's we're all in this together. That. It's not rah-rah, fight corporate power. You don't see that here. And that's probably why people are a little confused, as what is your message? And, and my point of view, for example, you know, what I do is when I'm on safety or when I'm patrolling or just generally around, if someone were to come into the park right now that's intoxicated or whatever, see what that person needs. I mean, they were here before us. Address the problems. I mean, what happened with um, the young lady that died in Vancouver, for example? The only reason why that made news was because she died in off the park in Vancouver. She would probably would have otherwise died in the streets. So to me, we're dealing with these issues hands-on. You can't just sweep them under, under the rug anymore. So to, to involve these individuals that aren't part of, they can't necessarily contribute economically, but, and as a result are considered subhuman, how do we deal with that? Okay. Um, and can you show us your tan? Do you, do you do anything to deal with the noise of the transit way? It's actually not that noisy. Yeah. I don't find it that noisy. Just asking. I mean, living in the city, it's noise is noise, right? Yeah. 
have an air mattress and yeah. so you're all organized yes <laughs> yes very but like do, do you still go to your courses of course yeah like, so uh, what's a typical day for you here uh, what is it like uh, get up and have breakfast maybe go to, to bridgehead and, and get some internet access come back um, have discussions with people what's going on what happened last night so like, okay, who's, on, who's on site who's not on site <laughs> Um, then do some studies. I also have a blog, so I'm writing things about Occupy um, and just my interests in general. So I'll, I'll do a bit of that. Um, fit some studies in there somewhere. Um, yeah, my professors are very, very considerate at the moment because they understand that I'm active and things like that. I'm going to St. Paul, it's a small university, so they're very considerate and they're very helpful. And, yeah. Okay, so you still go to your courses? Absolutely. You come back with your this afternoon I have to go finish Three days is whatever you need yeah, to yeah. do. And, okay. Yeah. Okay, and do you mind if we film inside? Like, <laughs> sure. It, is a bit of a mess. it looks very good from here. It looks like you have a little table, a little bedside <laughs> table, a little <laughs> bed. <laughs> it's good. It's better than a lot of people's tents. <laughs> 